Hey everyone, welcome to another Plan With Me video. I'm sorry that this one is quite late, you can see it's out on the 11th. All I've done so far is stamp my priorities at the top there and applied some washi tape. In this video I'm going to be using these chipboard stickers by Crate Paper, this Simple Stories Summer Collection in stickers and also um, ephemera, the I Am Simple Stories stickers and these clear stickers again from the Summer Vibes collection by Simple Stories um, and all of these things I bought from the Sassy Scrappers website I've still got my discount for a couple more days I'll link that down below for you it's 10% off until the end of Jan so to start off with I'm just playing, placing down some MT washi tape as I usually do just to give it the colour that I wanted I really wanted to do a summer theme spread because it's sort of getting Towards the end of summer here, I can feel it cooling down already, so I thought I'd better do one before it gets cool. I'm just taking this banner sort of sticker from the Simple Stories page and just placing that along the top or the middle line, I suppose, and just snipping it down to size. And then after that, I'm going to start going through the die cuts. How pretty are they? They're so nice. And just picking out the ones that I want and then after that I'll work out where I'm going to be putting them on the page. So I love Simple Stories, I love their collections, I've used the Carpe Diem one before. But this one is just such pretty colours, everything they do is just so nice and it's really affordable actually compared to some of the other sort of more well known brands, I find Simple Stories very affordable. So I'm just using these clear stickers just to add a little bit of detail on the page to begin with and then after that I'm just going to start placing my die cuts where I want them. So this it probably takes me the longest out of all the things I do in my planner is fiddling around with placement. But once I've got it then I usually just stick it all down and go with it. And I really do like using die cuts in my planners. I just feel like they bring it a bit of life and character more so than just using washi tape. Alright so once I'm happy I'm just going to glue everything down and I'm using just a plain old glue stick I've run out of my what's it called like wheelie tape so I'm using this instead because I'm trying not to buy anything before I use other things up. So I'm just using these chipboard stickers and you can see I was really struggling with them they just weren't working for me today <laughs> they would not separate from the actual backing so I had to end up gluing some of the pieces down rather than just using them as stickers, which you should be able to do. But I'm not blaming Crate Paper because I just can't get over how nice that chipboard stickers are anyway, and I love the texture that they add into the page. So I just added a few here or there, I didn't go too crazy this time, although I could have. And then after that, what did I do? I'll find out in a minute. Oh, that's right. So these are the I am stickers and they're just words. So I'm using these just to add a little bit of, um, I love putting quotes and, and words and things in my planner just because it's more of a sort of smash book journal sort of thing for me. So I like to have that little bit of extra something in there. Adding in a few more of the clear stickers. And then after that I'm going to use these Carpe Diem stickers which are like my go-to at the moment for my planner. They're so great because not only are they designed for a planner but they just, they're really great colours and colours that I always sort of gravitate to anyway. So I'm just using these as kind of prompts for my actual note taking. So just going through what I was doing that week, um, filming, exercising um, and like daily goals. Alright, so that's basically all of the decoration that I did and then after that as usual just filled in um, what I've done for the week. So uh, for those of you who don't know I tend to fill in my planner, or this one anyway, after the week. This one is kind of more, I like to think of it as a journal planner so um, for me it's a little bit like half diary, half I guess like note diary, just for memory keeping because 
I'm really, really bad at keeping a journal, so this is a much easier way for me. I just have to write snippets of what I've done, and I love flipping back over them and reflecting on what I was doing for that week. So that's basically it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this plan with me. I have another one coming up shortly. Please let me know if you have any comments or questions. Leave those down below. I do try and get back to everybody. Other than that, have an amazing week and I'll see you next time. Bye.